Yeah, hi friends. I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see configuration property with Mule ESB. So how you can handle a configuration property of me with Mule ESB and what is advantage? What how can you use those properties file in your application? And first let me show create one scenario. First I am going to create one scenario, small scenario, and you will come to know why we required a property file. So for that first. I will create one application which is connecting to the database and fetching the record from there. I will for that file new new project. I will say db prop app for runtime. I will keep it 3.8. You can select depending on your requirement. Rest of the setting I am not going to touch. I will say next. I will say next. Finally say finish. So wait till it's creating the application for you. So it has created one empty application for you. So you can, you know, uh, drag and drop a HTTP component into the canvas. Let me start configuring it under connector configuration. I will click on this add button. I will say I will keep all setting as a default. I will say okay for path. I will give DV for method. I will say get. Okay. So let me do one thing. Okay, one minute. Now I will search for database connector. We we'll drag and drop. I will do the connector configuration. So let me do one thing. We will require one file. Okay, let me. Okay, let me do from here itself. Click on this. I will say generic database. First thing you have to provide the URL. JDBC URL. This is my JDBC URL. I will provide it. This is my driver. You have to provide the driver name. I will provide. It. If you see, there is the error, right? So I will show you what is the error. Even even you see, if you go for test connection, it will fail. So you have to download, you know, add one dependency under build path. I will say right click, build path, configure build path. I will say add external jar. I will go to SQL. So you have to, you know, like add this SQL JDBC four. Open. Okay. This is added. Like let me add it again. I will say test connection. It is successful. Okay. Okay, now select. So let me. I will write query. Select star from population data. Save it. Okay, I have saved the application. I will start the application. This is my population data. Let me start the application. Okay, the application has been deployed. Now we will test it. Let me send the message. We got result back, but it is not in good format. It's in object format, so we have to convert into JSON. So for that, we will use object to JSON transformer. Okay, let me save it. So it will deploy application again for you. Let me send the message. See now I got it in the JSON format. Now. What is the problem with this application? Because if you see, we have hard coded Jitendra PC port number and everything. If you deploy application to the production, it can it it may change. It will definitely change. The production setting and test setting cannot be the same. So currently we have hard coded those value. So how we can overcome such issue? Okay. So for that you have to do one thing. And the source means resources you have to create a properties file. You know like. If you have three environment, create the three properties file. One for production, one for QA, one for development server. Here we will create some files. So I will say file uh, properties file. I will say db config. I will say this is QA dot properties. I will copy it. I will say finish. I will create one more new file. V control V. I will say Rd finish. Okay. Now let me do one thing. Let me write all the proper all the fields which required for the database connectivity. First, we will require server. What is your SQL server? I will say this is Jitendra PC. You will require port. You will require database name. It is 
population to make it okay now i required username i required password i will say db dot password okay these are the property i have set now i will copy same property i will in, i will paste into production the production server name in kitchen i will say jitendra it's fraud population port number all i will set in sql id 123 this is my production setting so i define value for queue and production now other thing what you have to do you have to go to mule app properties you have to set the environment for now i will say qa i want qa okay now i will go to the application under application you have to go to configuration global elements you say create search for placeholder okay so under location you can say db config say dollar now what environment we set we can say env okay see db config prd or qa so we have set the environment in the mule app property so that how can you access dollar environment dot properties so currently it's qa so it will pick up db underscore config underscore qa properties i will say okay now you go to the message flow database let me go to database go to ready i will go i will just copy this okay i will paste it here so what is your how can you access here the properties i will say dollar it's db dot server right dollar db dot port here dollar db dot database db dot user name here i will say dollar db dot password this is how you can access your properties right let me paste it here i will say okay let me stop the application and enable it again okay Okay, my application is deployed. I will go to database. Let me check the connection. I forget to check the connection. I will say test connection. See, your test connection is successful. So, if you know whatever properties we have given, that is correct. Now, let me use Postman to send the message. We got a result back. Now, what I will do? I will go to environment. In fraud file, I have given all the wrong settings. So, I will say PRD. Let me save it. Let me go to console. Okay, let me send message. It should fail. Okay, it, it will not. Let me stop and start the application because let me send the message again it will fail this time because we are given the wrong settings see we are not getting the result back yet see it was failed because we have used the fraud file in fraud we have our username password everything is wrong so again go back to original setting i will say qa Just a minute. Let me revert back. Again, okay. Also, I will go to database connectivity. I will show you test connection. It should fail.
okay it is not connecting basically it it was free okay so what i will do stop the application we will end with happy flow so that's why let me change again back to the qa application has been deployed let me send this time it should work fine see right so now you know the concept of the configuration properties file with new lsb right this is very simple and you know now you know how you can use those property file in your application i ho hope you have enjoyed video if you like my video please subscribe to it thanks for watching video